So as a society goes through our transformational steps, what do we all need to do? Yes, we, there, are, there are things that we must do at a collective level. There are things that we must do at an individual level in terms of acquiring the right training, the right background, the right education, the right experiences, channelizing it all in the areas where the country needs help. Yeah, yeah, all of that. All of that is true. All of that is true. But what do we need to do if we are caught in a very specific situation? And we don't really know what we should be doing. Imagine sitting in the restaurant and uh, and a couple is fighting and there's a child on the table and they are abusing the child. Or imagine uh, someone, you being out somewhere and someone is eyeing a woman who is carrying a purse and the moment she looks away, they, they grab the purse and run. Um, so, so someone grabs somebody's cell phone or someone you know for a fact is uh, is tipping their uh, the scale and they are they are measuring things incorrectly and they're giving people uh, incorrect items when they're when they're buying some goods some some goods from them imagine being aware of these things that are happening but we just don't know what to do maybe our somebody close to us is doing these things what should we do should or should we do anything at all in this slide, we'll talk about some of the options that we have, some of the options that we must absolutely exercise as we come across those situations. Let's figure out what they are. Let's figure out what are the roles and responsibilities of a bystander. Bystander, by definition, is someone who is standing on the side and something bad is happening. They are a witness to it, but uh, can they be more than just a witness? Let's let's figure out what are some what are some of the options. We'll provide a link below to a video that we have created, uh, Anatomy of a Crime. And we'll let's summarize that very quickly. When a crime happens, and by crime we, we lose, using the word very loosely, when anything bad happens, there are multiple factors that go into it. And let's understand, we'll give you, give you very quick, quick synopsis to, for you to understand who are the involved players within a crime. So there are those who plan whose idea it is that, yeah, let's say we're talking about for the safe sake of an, of, an, of an example, we're planning to rob a bank. So there's somebody who, there's somebody who comes up with an idea that we're going to rob the bank. That's, the, that's a group, the cohort or group number one. Group number two, those who actually carry it out, those who have got the, the skills, the training, and the resources, and they're the ones who are carrying it out. And then there are those who help them who give them the ammunition, give them the training, give them the know-how, who are maybe watching the bank, coming up with a list of, uh, with the with the times of the day and all of those factors, uh, and they, or the, they drive the, the getaway car. So they are not actively a part of the group too. They're not the ones who are carrying it out, but they are the ones who are helping them, who are enabling the crime in other words. And then there are group, there's group number four, people who know that something bad is happening, but they choose to do nothing. They choose to just go on with their lives silently, quietly, doing what they're doing. They uh, know, or maybe they have, a, they have a fear that something is happening, but they do nothing, they report nothing, and they just move on. And then when something is happening, and you could be a witness to what's happening, you're seeing that something is happening, you see, you're seeing that somebody is being robbed, you can see that there's a victim out there, but you chose to you choose to do nothing and you remain silent. That's group number five. And then who else is responsible for a crime? Or who is who is an involved player? Can we make an argument that a society is also an involved player? Or authorities are an involved player? For a society to have enabled these things. And, and enabled, again I use the term very lightly here, in, in not enabled as in wanting these bad things to happen. But we've created an environment where people have to seek out these these types of avenues. So, so in in the presentation that we we'll, that will produce uh, the link the anatomy of a crime, we've got some bullets or some some uh, some thoughts about uh, the role that societies could potentially play in in the in the whole enactment of the crime. Okay, so the list of these uh, six different players. Let's focus on the four and five. And that's really what we're talking about here on the slide, the role and responsibilities of bystanders. These are the people who know that something bad is happening, but they choose to, they choose to do nothing. And they, those are the people who see that something bad is happening, but they choose to remain silent. So let's see, what can they do? Step up, intervene. 
there is a separate presentation that we've got on conflict resolution. When you know, when you are, let's say you are at a at a at a at a at a, at a weekend picnic, and um, two of your friends are arguing, and and now then they start fighting. They maybe start punching each other. What what would you do? You will not just stand on a sideline and watch them go at each other. You will intervene. You will try to try to get into it. You will try to figure out what's happening. Maybe there there and conflict conflict resolution does not necessarily say that you start without even knowing what's happening that you uh, there's this there's a st series of steps that you must take so again be knowledge be in, be informed about what you could do but please do something so watch that presentation on contract resolution they'll give you some pointers some ideas on what you could do when you see something bad happening and you have protection let's say you're working for a company and you know that your company is cheating you know that let's let's say for, for example you work for google and google is has made public uh, statements or facebook has made public statement that they will not use uh, the customer's information in a negative way and it turns out that they're actually doing that maybe there's a project within the company and they are doing that and they may be pushing the boundaries maybe they may be stepping into the gray area and you're not comfortable with what's going on the fact that you know that you have this information, you must speak up. You have protection, you have rights, you are a whistleblower. Read up about whistleblowers' rights. Again, we'll try to provide some links down below. Read up about those because when you're seeing something, something bad, something wrong, it's really your responsibility. It's your moral responsibility to report that. If you are the one who's seeing something bad happen, that must be stopped. And maybe it could be you, perhaps, who, uh, who, could, who could enable that, who could begin the whole process of, of them eventually stopping or changing the course on that. During the process, you'll come across victims. Of course, there'll be victims. Each time there's a crime, the crime is being committed, there are victims. Help them out. Help the victims. If you cannot directly intervene, or you maybe there's a fear, maybe it's a large group, maybe there's a contingent behind it, maybe there are factors that are maybe it's, it's yeah, maybe you are with a family, so maybe you don't feel safe in doing something actively. That that's that's absolutely possible as well. That's also be, being human, trying to acknowledge, trying to understand what your uh, 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 points would be. Make a recording of what's happening report the crime so imagine all of these points we are reminding you and it's not, not there's no there's no uh, um, no, nothing major nothing substantial here just these very subtle reminders when something bad is happening and you're finding out about it you must do something about it make a recording point number six report the crime point number seven something must be done eventually the perpetrators of these negative actions the, the bad the bad actions they must be stopped what can we do this is how you could play a role in it. Be a witness. If it becomes a, a legal case, provide your name and your information. Become a witness. Whether you do it silently, you do it quietly, you do it publicly, you by taking a stand in the in the in the law in the, in the in the in the case, whatever it might be, you're a witness to something bad that has happened. Report the crime and be a witness. In the whole premise of this transformational project that we are launching here and we are trying to get people to come on board and support this entire initiative, this is based on, uh, on, on the very basic covenant between us and, the, and our country that uh, we promise as, as individuals, as citizens of Pakistan, as supporters of Pakistan to do what's right. And in return, the country promises to do for us what's right and what's owed to us. The country will make all the resources available to us. The company will make sure that that as long as I, I, I graduate from a university with a degree, that they'll have a job waiting for me. They'll give me the right avenues, food on the table, the roof over my home, whatever it is that I need to, to live and to live well. The country will, will, will provide those things for me uh, with the assumption that me and everybody else we complete uh, our side of the of the covenant. These crimes are a violation of those tenets of those covenants. We must acknowledge that. A really important reminder: speak up. 
stop what's wrong. That's the critical thing that we are looking at. Stop what's wrong. Remaining silent is not an option. It's no longer an option. We've been silent for too long. Bad things have happened. Bad things have, have allowed to, to have happened for far too long. They must stop. Remaining silent is no longer an option. Please speak up. Really important reminder. Really important. An injustice anywhere is an insult to justice everywhere. You might have uh, bottled up everything. You might have uh, lined up everything perfectly right in, in every sphere of your life, but your children are not safe or your domestic servants are not safe or the foreigners visiting your country are not safe. The minorities in your country are not safe. Injustice anywhere is an affront to justice everywhere. Okay, all right, let's continue with this journey.